warming. One of the reasons why global warming is dangerous is because it disturbs the overall ecology of the planet. This results in floods, famine, cyclones and other issues. Global warming is a phenomena of a gradual increase in the temperature near the Earth's surface. This phenomena has been observed over the past one or two centuries. This change has disturbed the climatic pattern of the Earth. However, the concept of global warming is quite controversial. But the scientists have provided relevant data in support of the fact that the temperature of the Earth is rising constantly. There are several causes of global warming, which have a negative effect on humans, plants and animals. These causes may be natural or might be the outcome of human activities. In order to curb the issues, it is very important to understand the negative impact of global warming. And it is also dangerous for the existence of life on Earth. Deforestation refers to the decrease in forest areas across the world that are lost for other uses such as agriculture croplands, urbanization or mining activities, greatly accelerated by human activities since 1960, deforestation has been negatively affecting natural ecosystems, biodiversity and the climate. The UN's Food and Agriculture Organization estimates the annual rate of deforestation to be around 1.3 million kilometer per decade. Multiple factors either of human or natural origin cause deforestation. Natural factors include natural forest fires or parasite cause diseases which can result in deforestation. Nevertheless, human activities are among the main cause of global deforestation. According to the Food and Agriculture Organization, the expansion of agriculture caused nearly 80% of global deforestation with the construction such as roads or dams together with mining activities and urbanization, making up the remaining causes of deforestation. The removal of trees without sufficient reforestation has resulted in biodiversity loss and aridity. Deforestation causes extinction, changes to climatic conditions and displacement of populations as observed by current conditions and in the past through the fossil record. Industrial activity. The rapid population growth associated with industrialization is also a cause of global warming. Because of the increased level of harmful emissions and increased population leads to increased demand for products. And higher levels of production and consumption and inevitably elevated levels of greenhouse gases. As we touched earlier, a huge portion of climate change or global warming can be attributed to our reliance on industrial activities over the years. Toxic materials and gases are released in the atmosphere when these are burned, which are really very harmful for us. Global warming can lead to rising sea levels. In 2013, the Intergovernmental Panel for Climate Change declared that the increase in the global temperature between 1880 and 2012 has been 0 0.9 degrees Celsius. The increase is 1.1 degrees Celsius when compared to the pre-industrial mean temperature. So let us reduce industrial activities and save our Mother Earth from this evil of global warming. We can do this together. Thank you. Use of vehicles. The use of vehicles, even for a very short distance, results in various gaseous emissions. Vehicles burn fossil fuels, which emit a large amount of carbon dioxide and other toxins into the atmosphere, resulting in a temperature increase. Perhaps the major disadvantage of vehicles in general is a huge damage they do to the human health and to the environment. More vehicles means more pollution. The environment pollution is a serious issue today 
and at any cost we must reduce the amount of pollution and if we consider it then owning a vehicle is never a good idea air pollution motor vehicles account for 34% of nitrogen dioxide released into the atmosphere water pollution cars pollute water sources in a variety of ways solid waste land space energy use noise pollution are some examples of environmental disadvantages of vehicles to sum up having a vehicle gives someone freedom but if the public transportation system is easily accessible available safe and efficient then the idea of buying and owning a vehicle should be abandoned a growing global population and changing diets are driving up the demand for food production is struggling to keep up crop yields level in of many parts of the world ocean health declines and natural resources including soils water and biodiversity are stretched dangerously thin a 2020 report found that nearly 690 million people or 8.9% of the global population are hungry up by nearly 60 million in 5 years the food security challenge will only become more difficult as the world will need to produce about 70% more food by 2050 to feed an estimate 9 billion people the challenge is intensified by agriculture's extreme vulnerability to climate change climate change negative impacts are already being felt in the form of increasing temperatures weather variability shift shifting agro ecosystem boundaries inactive crops and pests and more frequent extreme weather events on farms climate change is re- reducing crop yields the nutritional quality of major cereals and lower livestock productivity substantial investments in adaptation will be required to maintain current yields and to achieve production and call food quality increases to meet the demand the problem also works in reverse agricultural is a major part of global problem it currently generates 19 to 29% of greenhouse gas emissions without action the percentage could rise substantially as other sectors reduce their emissions additionally one third of food produced globally is either lost or wasted addressing food loss and waste is crucial to help meet climate goals and reduce stress on the environment guys all you know you have got to know what are the problems that we are facing because of global warming so let us know about some solutions like first point uses of vehicles uses of vehicles we can limit our uses of vehicle and we can switch to electric cars that help our environment second so deforestation we should plant more trees more trees and more trees to help this environment on a birthday plant a tree and share a photo with our organization we will repost it on our social media platforms thank you